Hello everyone, Mystic Gamer, and welcome to A Hat in Time. This will be the first Let's Play on the channel, and I want it to be a good one. You can already tell I've 100%ed the game and I've had some friends have a little shot. But, for this, we're going for a new game. It will be a 100% run. I will get all 40 timepieces. And all the yarn. So if you never played the game and you're willing to play it, you might want to check this out just to see what it's like. But let me stop talking and watch this. Welcome to yet another day of space adventure. You are only five light years away from your destination, home. The fuel tank is full and the ship is flying at full speed. Today's to-do list contains waking up, adjusting the engine. And here we are. The spaceship. Here's us. We are Hat Kid. A alien which looks fairly human. Let's explore around a little bit before we carry on. A closet. You only really wear um, one outfit, so there's also room for skeletons. In that was a pond. There's also a few actually interesting things in here. Some of this will come to a little later. So, expect to see a little bit of this. We have some blueprints of Hat Kid's spaceship. It looks very interesting. A globe, and some other things. But, if you take a seat in any chair anywhere in the game, the music will proceed to slow down and become more relaxing. Along with little Hat Kid just sitting down and relaxing. She also has what's meant to be a sort of GameCube count apart, but I don't want to mess with that. Who knows what it is? Ship's really big. But just one girl. And it seems to be this giant board needs us. And we're outside of some strange planet. So, let's see what the board wants. What's that? Well, we stopped halfway in the middle between what looks like something went bad to our home and well that's weird how are you here mate what is this flying boat all boats need to pay toll in mafia town even in space mafia come in to collect Chapter 1, Act 1. Welcome to Mafia Town. This game, for every act, has a little card like this. And... an intro.
Mafia Town. The main premise of this game is to find our fuel, the timepieces. Well, that's a bit odd. This person just randomly here. The fellow mafia watched TV last night? Confusing science owls say small people can jump double in air. I saw. This makes mafia uncomfortable with body. Must go work out. What they just told us is as follows. We can double jump in this game. I won't touch that yet. All roads lead to Mafia. Not good. Big immigration problems. We fix this by moving to Ireland. Now no road lead to Mafia. So the Mafia just wanted to be left alone. And they did that by... Taking this island. Well, let's follow this kid. She seems to know what she's doing. What she did right there was a dive. If you press for the PS4 RT while in the air or on the ground, you may do a dive. Hey you! Down there! Don't think I didn't see you stalking me! Us kids should stick together, not stalk one another. I mean, Mafia Town can be a really dangerous place. So what do you say? Wanna join my little rebellion? Oh, by the way, did you have anything to do with the junk falling from the sky? Yeah? Yikes! Looks like you've got a lot of cleaning up to do, huh? You could tell when a character's talking about the timepiece because there will be an icon of one, as well as the writing will be in blue. Looks like the game wants us to step on this button. And that's activated the crane. Now it wants us to get on top of this building. Which is quite easy. And oof, this thing moved. And we will do exactly as she says for now. <laughs> when I say for now, I mean only for there. Because our first collectible that I'm going to go for is right here. This is yarn. It's very important for certain parts of the game. You can use, in this game's equivalent, triangle to look above you and back down. Square to attack. You can also hold down PS4 equivalent R2 to not only slide but do a duck and do a crawl and straight away this is the importance of the arm hats each hat has a unique trait you can use L1 to pull up a wheel or the game's other equivalents and use the equivalents of L2 to find your goal with the normal kids hat. With the sprint hat however, you can run. Hey, Running. I think one of your junk pieces fell and smashed right into the market's fountain. Messed it up real good. When going over there, just avoid making eye contact with the mafia and you'll be fine. Good luck fellow rebel. See ya. So before I got interrupted by Mustache Girl, I was explaining the nature of the sprint. The sprint, you can move a lot quicker, but you can only jump once. But for now, it seems to be this Mafia's got a timepiece. And we are introduced to our main weapon, a trusty umbrella. Thank you. And 
you might have also seen that Hat Kid has got more than just a typical swing of it. You've got a normal swing and then a combo. Or, if in the end you use square, or its equivalent, you can do a diving attack. Hat Kid has four pars of life. They can be recovered with these pink ponds, heart ponds. Before I go and get this timepiece, I want to quickly go around seeing what else I can obtain before picking up the first timepiece. With there being some more ponds around. And an introduction. Hi there, young one. I am from a far away land. I've seen every corner of the earth. And now I sell tiny pieces of my discoveries. You may call me the badge seller, for I sell and trade badges. I can provide you with strong abilities and upgrades to your hat. If you have money, of course. The badge seller will give you badges. Each of these have unique abilities. However, not all of them are good. Some of them, like the Mumble Badge, turn the normal voice acting to just mumbles. But for now, I believe we should get the item Magnet. It's a good first badge to take. As, once I leave the shop and show you, it's already equipped for us. What this will do now, is nearby heart ponds will float to us. Same goes with normal ponds and all other forms of plausible collectible. Now this is interesting. These buttons go up as soon as we touch them. You can also do something strange where if you duck and then go back up, that kid's sort of inside the button. It's funny. But as you can see, there's more rainbow effects around here. That means more yarn. There's more though that you can obtain than just yarn. But I'll get back to that a little bit later. For now, let's hop in this cannon. And now we're at the other side. Which seems to be quite different. Now I shall go and collect these red items. Those are vault codes. If you notice right here, there is a red vault. You want all the codes to their respondent vault to open them. This one had a PC on and quite a few ponds. So it's a good starting vault to collect. Now, since I have beaten the game already, as 100%, I know a fair few of the harder to obtain pieces of yarn and other special collectibles. There is full damage in the game, so be wary of a big jump like that. However, the second jump can negate the full damage, along with a dive. So if you're going to go from a high place to a low place, think about how you're jumping. And this man seems to be in trouble. Let's help him. And all of the Mafia just converged. Ah! That's a unique trick with the Mafia. If you hit them enough with the umbrella, they will get smarter and you have to dive attack them. But, we helped this man. He gave us a PC on and some more ponds for that. I suppose I guess I should now show you you can swim in this game. But, 
be wary, because you do have a meter for how long you can swim without falling in. If you notice, we're back by the beach. Because there's still more yarn to collect around here. Seems to be a lot of lost and found related things. An egg. Seems to be someone found some money. A cage. A bird. And someone found our hat. Right here is a treasure chest. They contain any of the rainbow effect items. We have a typical bell, so you don't need to worry about that. And also be careful, this fire can hurt you. And ironically, I just so happen to have touched it to show that. Hey, that's a bit different to have over here. A camera in a bird's nest. Perhaps that guy over there that was shouting, presumably at the birds, is the one that used to own this camera. Let's go talk to him now that we've retrieved this camera. Hello, person. You got my camera? Wow, thanks, kid. But I've actually got a ton of cameras in reserve. I, I don't need it. I was just looking for an excuse to yell at seagulls. You can keep it. Well. We now have the camera badge. Using for the PlayStation, the big central button, you can have a completely free control camera around where Hat Kid stands. You can change its filter and its field of depth. You can also just disable the field of depth and you can gain a worldwide view. And if you look closely, you can find Hackkid's spaceship along with another planet. It's quite remarkable what the camera can let you see. But for now, I'm going to keep the item magnet and make our second hat. The brewing hat. With L2 or its respective, you can now throw a potion. This lets us break anything with a yellow marking tape. It also acts as a new attack for us. And this man gave us a lot of pawns for helping him. Yes, that's none of your business. I will also tell you, for the PS4, and I presume as well the Xbox, the D-pad can act as a instant hat switch. However, the cycle is in the loop of the hats. From kids, sprint, brewing, and further on. So if you want to switch between hats that are a lot further apart than you already can tell, it might be wiser to use the wheel. But, enough of that, and on with this. That was a relic. They are the other kind of rainbow effect item. Their usage so far does not mean much, but it's wise to pick up as many as you can in this current moment. And I think with that, once I've obtained this, a challenge pond 
mission. It does not really give us much besides some lovely confetti. Some of them do give us things though. I think with that, there's only really one other thing left to do. But first, we've got another pond challenge to complete. And this one actually has something for us. It lifts the stairway, revealing yet another PC arm. And of course, I'm leaving a close one for last in these boxes. And other than that, I'd say that should do it for my first episode. We explored around Mafia Town, collected up a lot of yarn, and made two hats. So, I feel like that's a good place to end this off. Next time, on a hat in time, we carry on within the main hall and Mafia Town. And perhaps we can find some more of our timepieces there. I will be seeing you all next time. Goodbye!